Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Will Doublestein, and I want to welcome you uh, to second grade music class. So uh, today's going to be pretty special because the kids are going to be teaching you guys, the parents, um, how to do these things we do week to week. So with it today, I hope you'll have fun, participate as much as you want. If there's anything you're like, eh, I might want to sit out of this one, that's fine too. You can always um, sit in the back or on the sides. And this first song we're going to be singing, um, I think it's great with you guys um, where you're at because you'll get to hear your kids sing really well too. So, all right, kids, are you excited? Yeah. Parents, are you excited? Yes. All right. Well, then, what? I'm glad to officially welcome you to our second grade music informants. Now, today we are going to warm up a little bit of an icebreaker with a song called "Step on the Beat." And in this activity, we're actually going to be moving all around this open area right here. And all you have to do is follow the directions of the song. Okay, you'll hear all the directions. And uh, if you need any help, I'm sure your kids will let you know just what to do. So everybody, let's stand up. And I might move over here. Oh, we're not, we're not really Why did you play your nails? Okay, so you're allowed to move anywhere in this open space, okay? Put the beat in your feet. Let's step on the beat. Move those feet. <laughs> Do it proud, do it neat, you're going to step on the beat. Walk here and there. Go anywhere. Come on, chill. Run space and travel anywhere. As you walk upon the ground, don't let your voice make a single sound. Now let's do some opposite. Move high up to the sky.
Let's step on the beat. <laughs> necessarily go in order. In fact, we'll start right here on the word say. Because oftentimes we use text or poetry um, to create rhythms, which then go on to be melodies. So uh, a real easy one, and some that some of you may know from when you were a kid, is a song called I Said a Boom Chicka Boom. It's real easy. All you have to do is echo me. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's give it a try. I said a boom chicka boom. 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 I said a boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. I said a boom chicka rocka chicka rocka chicka boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. One more time. One more time. Barnyard style. Barnyard. I said a moo chicka moo. 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 I said a moo chicka. Watch your step, don't track it in the room. I said a moo chicka. Watch your step, don't track it in the room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. One more time. One more time. Parrot style. <laughs> I said a boom go to your room. 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 I said a boom go to your room and don't come out till next June. I said a boom go to your room and don't come out till next June. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. One more time. One more time. My favorite. Taco Bell style. <laughs> I said a bean, chicka bean. 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 I said a bean and cheese burrito and a nacho supreme. <laughs> I said a bean and cheese burrito and a nacho supreme. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. But no more time. But no more time. Great job, guys. So that's how we work on speaking and speaking in rhythm. So now let's sing. All right. Today, we're going to do it twice. First time through, the kids will show you. So just the kids the first time. Second time through, if you'd like to join us and sing along, you're welcome to. So kids only, let's stand up. I have a help for Jasmine, can you grab that pointer stick? Okay, so we're going to sing a song to you guys called Hello World and be listening to how it goes because we'll do it again and you're welcome to jump in. Okay, the, the pictures on the screen will help. All right, kids, you ready? Hello, sun.
thinking that's what, there's a lot of words in that song. You know what? Even if you just sing one or two of them right, that'll be great. So let's all stand up. Just sing if you're comfortable, if you're comfortable, okay? All right, we're going to do it again. We'll make the pictures real big on the screen so you all know what's coming next. And as soon as you sing that word, you go to the next one. Okay? Can you say hello? All right. Hello, sir. reasons but um, in this book there's a series of different animals and what's neat about these animals is that we can connect the animals to different rhythms and we're going to use something called Kate Mon's rhythmic building blocks and these are two beat um, rhythms that we can put together almost like Legos so like for example can anyone in the audience uh, call out, maybe a parent. I just need two colors. That's all I need. Two colors that's up here. Red and yellow. All right, we'll get started with the kids. That's fine. Red and yellow. All right. So kids, what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two blocks. There's two beats here, two beats here. And we're going to make a four beat phrase. You guys ready? Taz and Titi's. Let's clap it. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, all right, two more, two more colors. Great job on that one, guys. Just call it out. Anyway. Green and orange. Okay, green and orange, I heard. Green and orange. One, two, ready, and go. Green and orange. And what's so neat is we can continue to do this, and we can actually create our own music just using these two beat rhythmic building blocks. All right. But now, I want you to look at the pictures from this book. And um, this will be the kids, okay? So students, I want you to tell me, uh, maybe we can do ball, well, you can just call it out. I want to know what color of building block matches the word panda bear. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, good. T, T, ta fits perfectly with panda bear. Okay, how about ball eagle? Green. 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 Good job. Yes. Ta ti ti for ball eagle. How about buffalo? Orange. Yellow or orange. Listen here. Buffalo. Oh, I 
I hit it. I didn't mean to. What color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, how about this one? Spider monkey. Orange. 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 Good. T, 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 T. Okay, how about sea turtle? Green. 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 Paris, you get what we're doing here? Okay. All right, how about macaroni penguin? White. White. Yeah, so they're saying white because this one actually doesn't fit. This one is a, we have to use a different rhythm. Uh, these are called 16 notes. We get four of them, so it's going to go a little quicker and it goes macaroni. Four. Take that, take that. Okay? Kids, try that. Ready? And go. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, C, lion. Ready? Go. Green. Okay. Green. Yeah, sorry, green. Good. What color for red bull? Red. Red. Two quarter notes. How about whooping crane? Or yellow. 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 What's our decision, kids? Yellow. 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 Okay, whooping crane is yellow. Yes, it's T T ta. Two eighth notes and a quarter note. And how about black panther? Green. 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 Good job. Okay, so now this is going to be cool. I told you that this is under the category of playing. So we're going to play on the instruments. And here's how we'll do it. Um, in a moment, we're going to do question, a musical question and a musical answer. I'm going to split you guys up between the kids and the grown-ups. The kids are going to go on the mallet instruments, and they're going to play these rhythms, okay, on so and me, which in this case would be on the notes G and E. So if they're playing panda bear, they're going to play G, G, E, and then panda bear, G, G, E, and what do you see? So they'll play that. Then the parents, I've got a special job for you guys. So kids, go ahead and find an instrument. Don't fight over them, just go find an instrument. And then parents, I'll show you your job. And then the kids will play bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? And then parents, you'll play I see a buffalo. Kids will play buffalo, buffalo, what do you see? Then we go here. I see a spider mostly looking. Make sense? Okay. Then we'll say I see a sea turtle looking. Now you gotta be careful on the macaroni penguin. It's I see a macaroni penguin. <laughs> and I've got a microphone, so I'll be louder. So you guys can just kind of follow along with me, okay? Okay, kids, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Parents, are you ready? Yeah. Any questions? We're good? Alright, here you Alright, one, two, questions, go. I see a bald eagle looking at me. I see a buffalo looking at me. 
that we'll use to do this. Um, we're actually going to be using some cups. And parents, you're going to have some input on this. You're going to compose a little rhythm. So compose something means that you're going to come up with it yourself. There's these two tables here. Oh, that's why they were Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Okay. All right. Up here, I have eight beats listed. The first song we did was called Step on the Beat. See, a beat is a pulse that stays the same speed. And these red cups will represent eight beats. Parents, you get to take it easy during this one, OK? <laughs> Just the kids are going to handle this one. All right, so kids, all I want you to do is count these eight beats. We're going to count them out loud. <coughs> Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, perfect, easy though, right? Too easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these blue cups, and the blue cups are going to represent quarter notes. And we can put the blue cups on any of the beats we want. There are lots of different combinations. And this is where I, this is the only thing I need a little bit of input on. So if you have any parents who would like to raise their hands, just like you're in school, right? And, okay, great. First hand I saw. So all I'm going to have you do is put the, uh, is Mr. Hepburn here? Is that good? Okay, Mr. Hepburn. So if you put the blue cups on any of those eight beats, you've got four of them there. Kids, you think you can handle this one? Yes. So you still have to count 
each of the beats, okay? But you're only going to clap on the quarter notes, on the blue cups, all right? Let's try blue cups only. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
It's. Do you see my notes? There it is. Okay. That was awesome. Now, if we had more time, we could keep going. We could uh, do different rhythms with putting the, cup, the blue cups on different beats. Um, we could separate into three groups. We've done that as well. Um, so there's lots of options with a uh, piece like that. It's just a really fun way to create our own music. Really, creating is the ultimate goal of what we're doing here. We don't want the kids to just, you know, mimic or repeat what we tell them. We want them to create their own, and that's one way we can do it. So, it sounds like the parents can do it too. All right. Finally, we're gonna move. Now this is going to get a little tricky, but I think we can handle it. What we're going to do is make a big circle. All right, this is we're going to do a circle folk dance. It's very simple, and I'll teach you all the moves as we go. Okay. So as long as you're standing next to your kid, each kid will need a partner. So if you don't have, how about this? If you if your parent is not here. Um, then you'll need a student to be your partner. So, how about, yeah, if your partners, you can kind of hold hands, that would be fine so we can see. Okay, great. Oh, she's gonna come back? Okay, well then you hang out with your, then I'll have you go somewhere different. Okay, are you guys, you need a partner. Do you, are you guys partners? Okay, so we need Xavier. Xavier's right now. I'll be a, I'll okay. Be a oh, okay. Great. So, if you take a step back, who does not have a partner? Okay, this is great because you can be my partner until she gets back, okay? All right. So, this is a folk dance called Old Brass Wagon, and it's how we're going to end the informants today. I love folk dancing. And there's lots of different ways you can do folk dances. There's circle dances, there's double circle dances, there's long way set dances, which is where you make the bridge, you might remember kind of. Anyways, there's a lot of different moves too. And what's great about this dance is it teaches you all the basic moves you might use in any other circle dance. So we'll kind of practice it through once without the music, and then we'll add in the music. Alright? So everybody, if you would just hold hands with the person next to you. And yes, if you, so there's only two moves that you need a partner for. So if you're a grown up and you don't have a partner, don't worry, you can just, um, at that point, you'll just be on your own, okay? At, it, it, most of the dance isn't that way, so. We're all gonna start by circling to the left. So while holding hands, let's all walk to the left. We're gonna circle to the left, good. Okay, right, we'll do that for a little while. And then we're gonna go back to the right. Good. Then we'll go into the center. Now when we go in the center, it's not a race. So, and we'll put our arms up. So we'll kind of walk into the center like this. We're just making a smaller circle. And then we're going to go back on out. Good. All right. Good. Then we're going to clap our hands. We'll tap our toes. And then you face your partner. Then we'll face. Then uh, what you'll do is with your partner. Don't worry, it's really easy. You'll figure out. <laughs> you and your partner will hold hands, and you're gonna just do a two-can turn, which is while holding hands, you're just walking around. Good. And after that, we have a dosey do Now I need a couple of students who have paired up to show this one. Students who are paired Okay, you two. Great. Great. Come right here. Okay, you're going to show everybody what a dosey do is. Now, dosey do is you're going to face each other and you walk around each other without turning your bodies like that. Okay? All right, that was great. Let's give them a round. Now, everybody else, let's practice. You'll do a couple of them, okay? You're just walking around without changing the direction you're facing, okay? So go ahead and do some dosey -si dos. Great. And that's good. 
Okay, then you'll all hold hands in a big circle again. And once again, we'll circle to the left. And you'll circle back to the right. You'll come into the center. Oh boy, his arms up. Back on out. And at this point, you're this is the trickiest part. You're going to think you come back to the center again, but instead, you're just going to bow to your partner. And that's it. Can you remember all that? Yeah. <laughs> In a folk dance like this, it's usually a collar. So I'll be the collar and I'll tell you what to do. All right? All right, any questions? No? Good. All right, let's go. Here we go. Everybody to the left. Video. This um, this video I'll post to my YouTube channel. 